Hello and welcome. In this video we're going to be taking a look at how uh, Credential Guard works in uh, Windows operating systems running on AHV hypervisor. Let's get started. Okay, to save time I've already logged into Prism Central and I've already created a Windows virtual machine for this purpose. We'll pick the Credential Guard demo VM that we hear and choose to update it. And we will select to enable Secure Boot and Credential Guard from the menu. This can also be done via the command line uh, or API if you'd like to do it in a more automated fashion. We'll save these. Then choose to power on our virtual machine. Now let's launch a console and start to work inside the virtual machine. Log into our VM. We'll take a quick look uh, first and show you that um, Credential Guard is not you know, in uh, set up and working yet. So we can see credential guard here is not enabled. Since we've already enabled it for the virtual machine, now we just need to enable it via group policy inside this virtual machine. Pick device guard from the group policy, and then the option for turn on a virtualization based security. We're just going to enable it, I'm going to pick secure boot, and enabled without lock. Apply it. Well, we can close the group policy. Then we're just going to force a update of the group policy before we reboot our machine. Let's make sure we're running as administrator. Now our group policy has been updated, so we will just choose to reboot our virtual machine. And then our configuration should be complete and we'll just verify it. Just take a quick second while our machine reboots here. And now we'll just take a uh, quick look at the info again, and we'll be able to see that Credential Guard is now configured for this virtual machine. So we can now see the device guard is now running, tells us it's running. And if we look at device guard services, they tell us it's running and they're protected via credential guard. So we've now completed the configuration for this virtual machine 
and ensure that Credential Guard is running in our VM.